Alright, welcome everyone. This is Papa Sean. We're playing Warhammer Total War. And I want to show you guys how to unite the clans as the Dwarven faction. Alright, so you want, the bottom right you'll have the Diplomacy. Go ahead and left-click on Diplomacy. <coughs> okay, so already previously we've uh, gotten a few alliances with the Dwarves going on. So let's just quick bring you up to speed. We've got a military alliance with Zuffbar. And we've also got military access. And we've already assigned them a, a joint target, the Bloody Spears. So that's one of the benefits of getting alliances is that you can have a war coordination attack on a specific tribe or you know target so we went ahead and selected the bloody spears for our first attack all right so we also have a non-aggression pact with Barak Var and we also have trade agreement with them so our relationship is improving let's see if we can take it a little bit further and unite the clans Hi. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before Oath Gold. Alright, so non-aggression pack means you won't attack them, they won't attack you. But let's take it one step further and become a defensive alliance. And just by looking at this quick bar, you can see that this green is a high success chance. And right now the military alliance is a low success chance. We've got a very low joint confederation chance. So let's go ahead and select defensive alliance. Because we know that they want that. And then we can also get some money out of them or edit. Alright, so we're going to demand 300, and they're willing to pay that. It's a high likelihood. Still high at 600, so let's change that. We're going to try to go up to a point where it says moderate. Okay, so it's a moderate chance, but it's still at the upper end of the moderate, so we're going to go ahead and accept and get a defensive alliance and 900 coin. So they've accepted that. And keep in mind, you need to have these guys join you through a confederation. Here's a confederation option that you effectively get all of their lands. They become yours, as well as their armies. Uh, the other option is to be, have them become a vassal or a military alliance in order to win. Military alliance, they will or vassal, they'll continue to operate as if uh, they're a their own faction. So you don't have to worry about maintaining their lands or defending them. They'll do that autonomously on their own. And uh, you just want to make sure you give them some help so they don't disappear completely in case they get wiped out. Alright, so now that we've gotten a defensive alliance, we'll find that turn over turn that we remain in that defensive alliance and we honor that, uh, our relationship will improve. If we were to click on military alliance, they won't take it right now, but if we were to offer them some money, they might. So if we click on offer, we don't have a whole lot, and we offer them most of our money, they still don't want it. Now, if we give them all our money, they, we have a moderate chance. Well, we don't want to bankrupt ourselves for the point of a military alliance that we can pick up later, so let's go ahead and cancel for now. And <coughs> pardon me. We can also look at wars. They're currently uh, not at war with any factions that we aren't already with, so we're going to go ahead and leave that alone. Well, you can ask them to join the war against, uh, like, the Bloody Spears. He doesn't want to do that. Join the war against... Scabby Eye or Red Fang. That's low, so we'll go ahead and try just the Red Fang. Just Scabby Eye. And they're not looking to enter into any more wars with the green skin, so we're going to hold off for that. So that's the uh, Barrack Var. And you can see that we're improving with relations with uh, Karak Kadrin and Karak Hearn. So Karak Kadrin we've got non aggression with. We could probably pick up a non aggression with Karak Hearn, so let's give that a go. Greetings, Kinnaman of the Hold. What can I do for you? Alright, so the non-aggression pact is a moderate chance, so we can go ahead and try that. So they have accepted the moderate chance of uh, non-aggression, so now we've got that. They don't want to give us military access, defensive alliance, none of that stuff right now, so we'll hold off. Uh, we can offer to go to war with the Black Venom clan. And that's a moderate chance. We don't necessarily. We were hoping to get some money out of that. You don't really want to go to war with a whole bunch of factions because you can find yourself overwhelmed a little easily. So let's hold off for that. But as you see, we now have either a non-aggression, a defensive alliance, or a military alliance with all of the four known dwarven realms. So we've gotten a good start. This is only turn six in the dwarven campaign, and we can also look to get uh, relationships going on with the Empire provinces. There's no harm in that. So the Iverland. That up. Approach and make your offer, but I make no promises to my ascent. All right, so we can go ahead and get a non-aggression pact with Iverland. 
Alright, so we've made a lot of friends. We've got a bunch of non-aggression packs. Uh, we have three enemies, and they're all green skin, gabos, or orcs. So we're, we're doing pretty good there. We can end that for diplomacy. And now you'll find that uh, as you do attacks against the orcs and green skins, it'll also continue to improve uh, your relationships with the dwarves. And it looks like the empire does not give one lick whether you're, you're friendly or not to the green skins. So you're really only going to help the dwarves by going after gabos and orcs. But when you do, be sure not to... Uh, ransom them. You don't want to ransom the gobos and orcs because that'll actually upset the dwarves. You want to go ahead and take the heads off their shoulders every chance you get. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you as you attempt to unite the clans in Warhammer Total War. This has been Popple Sean. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. It's all free to do. Helps me out greatly. And I'll add revenue goes towards the kids' college education. Thank you again for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Warhammer Total War.